There is a working credit glitch for Xbox and PC users. It is so potent, it is actually incredible. And the best thing is you don't need any console commands or anything silly like that. This can be done in vanilla gameplay so your achievements are protected. So let's get into today's video because it's going to be a good one. And just whilst I do have your attention very quickly, can I just ask that if by the end of today's video, if I have earned your subscription, then please do me a massive favour and consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And also hit that thumbs up on this very video. That way then more people can take advantage of this glitch for those who want to do so. Okay, so first of all, you will need to have med packs equipped. So make sure before you do attempt this that you have plenty of med packs. You'll need them later on. So first things first, you are going to want to be in the commercial district. So when you land your ship, go ahead and go over to the commercial district in Atlantis. So when you come off the tram in the commercial district, you want to go directly to your right hand side. So you'll see on the right hand side here, there is a poster board and there's another poster board a little bit further right. You want to follow this round and you want to start jumping over the edge. So right here is where you jump over the edge and use the terrain to your advantage so then you keep your damage to an absolute minimal, which is why also we need the health kits just in case. Next thing we're going to do is slide down this area here and you can see just a little bit further forward there is a platform. Now you want to go ahead and use your jump pack for this and you want to try and time it right so that you can get a double jump pack and that should get you over to the edge, no problems. Heal here if you have taken damage. So from here, we're gonna continue going down the dam. So we're just gonna jump over to the edge where this tree is located. Once you do that, you're gonna go a little bit further to the right hand side and start walking around. Now, when you get around to this side here, you'll notice that there's two long pylons. You wanna jump on the second one as we move forward here so you can just use a normal jump for this and get onto the edge and pull yourself up so once you're on this second ledge we need to jump down to a treetop so i'm going to use this uh, laser tool here or this laser gun and i'm going to point to where we need to go next so we're going to jump on top of this tree trunk and we want to use our jetpack here in order to make it absolutely seamless the next thing I'm going to do is go down to the crack here at the bottom. You can see it's a very small opening. So use your jetpack here and just be very careful. So before you land on the bottom there, use your jetpack and you shouldn't take fall damage. Now, we need to get over this edge here where you can see there's some sort of gap with the rocks and the model of the buildings themselves so we're going to jump through that area there until you land on the ground again use your jetpack to your advantage here now when you reach this point it might be a really good idea to go ahead and make a quick save once you do that you're going to see this little area right here now it's a long area and you want to start going underneath this area first of all what this will do is ensure that you go underneath the map and there will be a pool of water jump into that and then we're going to start running up the left hand side ledge so you'll start to just get a little bit of pushback from the game but that's fine just start working yourself around it so that you can start going up to this area now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start swimming believe it or not so use your jetpack and get to this area right here and start swimming upwards now this is a time sensitive matter because a you are technically drowning at this point so make sure you use your your med kits to your advantage but also what you want to do is you want to keep on swimming directly forward and you want to get underneath this ledge now the ledge is directly in front of us but every time we swim forward or even if we stop the game is trying to push us out of the map so you're going to keep on floating upwards even though you're going in a straight line so you do not stop you just keep swimming absolutely 100 percent true and forward until you make it underneath the rocks use your med packs to make sure that you don't drown now from here what we're going to do is follow the, the rock line to the left hand side and you'll notice that there's a gap between the rocks right there so like i said you're going to keep on swimming but if you notice you'll keep on getting pushed up so use the rocks to keep you now essentially from glitching through the map and just follow it around until you start to drop down use your jet packs and go onto the side of the rock here have a quick breather and then you want to go ahead and start using your, your jetpacks to get onto this ridge right here. 
Now, it can be a small bit finicky, which is why we made a save point just before. But once you're here, you're fantastic, you're safe, you're not going to drown now, so we can continue moving forward. So when you do reach this point, it is a very good idea to make another quick save so you don't have to do all that again. Now, we're going to keep on going around this area, and where we're going is just between these two structures here. So we've got the main structure on the left-hand side, and we've got the rock face on the right. And we're going to use our jetpack, and we're going to try and squeeze ourselves around the side of the building here until it glitches us on the floor. Once you've done this, that is the hard part over, and now we can start reaping the rewards. Again, once you make it this far, I always recommend make a save point, so then you don't have to try and squeeze through that area again so from here we're looking now for chests on the ground and we can see our first one directly to our left when we squeeze through that area and you can see it's absolutely loaded to the brim with items so we're going to take all those items but these are just almost teasers to what is to come so the first one is a nice one but we if we start running around the side area here you'll notice that there's another one directly to the left now you want to crouch for this and then go up to it and this one is an absolute bag and a half because it has so many items it is insane just how many items it has so we're going to carry on looting the entire lot now i'm not going to cut any of this out because i want you to see this real time just how many items are included here it is utterly insane and you're getting every sort of material you can think of which will become more apparent later on when you start like building your own outpost trust me it is everything in that chest is very useful so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep on following everything around but i want to show you one thing if by accident you go into like an area like this where it's kind of like putting you back into like a shop or a space you ain't going to glitch through the map so you don't have to worry about it you are completely under the map at this point now you don't want to run down the area that i just shown you just over there on the on the right hand side you want to come between these two areas here in the floor there's a gap now when you go through the gap here you'll notice that there's one more chest now this chest is exactly why we are doing this so we're going to go underneath this area here and we're going to carry on going upwards now at this point it's okay to use your jetpack if you need to try and get up on this surface because it is a bit of a pain but once you get up to this surface you'll see that this chest right here is the credit chest and this credit chest has nearly seventy thousand credits which is insane so once you pick that up you might be thinking to yourself okay how do i get out now the way that we do this is fairly simple now you can't for example run around the side like this i'm just showing you you can't jump up here there's no way to get out at this particular section but the way that we do it is fairly simple all we need to do is keep on running over to our left hand side don't run down that way you want to keep on running over to the left hand side and you want to start going up this area here go through the side of the crack and jump at that spot that i just did and it will pull you up at the side and you're then back onto the surface and thus you have completed your run now this glitch is absolutely amazing because once every 24 hours now some people say it's 24 hours in game as in a, a full day cycle some people say it's 24 hours in real life from my findings it's 24 hours in real life when these these boxes underneath the ground will go ahead and refill once that happens you're able to do this glitch again so it's almost like a daily money grind but at the end of the day you're getting all of these items you're getting all this money and the best thing is because the game is procedurally generated the items and the money values will be different each and every time so it's a great way to get some amazing loot and to top up your credit balance each and every time absolutely incredible now just for a quick look just to show you just how much stuff i got here i did this virtually with a clean inventory and this is what i ended up with so if we're going over to our inventory here you can see we've got 117 new items we have all of these different weapon types now which i didn't have before apart from the the weapon that i am holding but you can see we have epics we have a legendary that i've seen there absolutely fantastic and we also have different space suits we have a bunch of different items we have different ores we have a lot of different things absolutely incredible 100 percent love this and yeah like i said you can do it each and every day fantastic so there you go ladies and gentlemen a working item 
and credit glitch working right now for Xbox after the latest patch and PC as well, obviously. Absolutely incredible. Let me know your thoughts about this as always in the comment section down below. And my name is Professor Cynical and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.